Brick Rod Studios here with another Lego Studio set review. Today we got the Curse of the Pharaoh set 1383. Contains 50 pieces and it retailed for $3.99 back in 2002. And it contains two minifigures the mummy, of course, and a skeleton minifig. And this instruction manual has a comic. You can see it's mad because the skeleton fell asleep in his tomb. So he chases him off with the spider. There's your just imagine idea. So without further ado guys, let's get right into the set. First off we got the mummy himself or the pharaoh, whatever one you like to call him as. He has nice torso and like pretty. Here's just a look at his double sided face. Here's just a skeleton minifigure, we've seen this before. And he has attachment which will be a huge role in the set in itself. Here's a look at the tomb in its entirety. It's a pretty small tomb although it has a lot of play features. So let's dive right into it shall we. So the first feature you can lift it up and with the stud you guys saw you can stick it right here. Make sure it's on the bottom or else he won't close properly. And you actually gotta tilt the tomb up a little bit to close it. And then the main reason when the mummy wants to go into his tomb, this guy pops up. So that's a nice feature. And this is also a glow in the dark spider. And then when you lift up the scorpion, the head comes out which is glow in the dark. And then See in there, you can just simply throw it back in and close it up. So that's pretty much the set in its entirety. So I'll give you guys my final thoughts right now. Alright guys, so you guys seen the set in its entirety. The set's awesome, but how, but it's like expensive on eBay right now. Well, not super expensive, but it's a lot more than what it retailed for. It was $4 and it retailed, now it's like about... 30 to 40 for a used one, maybe 50 for a brand new one. So I would go for a brand new one. 50 bucks though, that's a lot of money. You could get the Pharaoh's Quest sets, which included the few mummies, I know. And those sets are relatively new and have more detail than this one, but this one's also very nice. They also have that Lego minifigures mummy and the Adventures theme as well. So there's a lot of other mummies out there, but this one's exclusive to this set. So, this set's very nice. Look forward to more LEGO Studios reviews in the future, as I have pretty much the whole collection. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Brick Rod Studio, out.